Good morning. Pam and I are doing the 21 hope-filled days of prayer, and we're going to be praying for marriages today. Uh, Pam prayed for wives on one, and I prayed for husbands and wives. Uh, but today we just want together come together as a couple to pray for marriages. In Ephesians chapter 5, it says, Husbands, love your wife as Christ loved the church. And it also says, wives, submit to your husbands as unto the Lord. And so we know the enemy hates marriage. We know that he tries to drive wedges between us. And so it's even that much more important that we pray for one another as husband and wives and pray for our families. But we want to focus on marriages today as we lift you up. Uh, to the Lord today. So let's pray. Father God, I thank you so much for the beautiful gift of marriage, Lord, that you've brought to us. I thank you so much that you bring two people together uh, as a picture of what Jesus Christ and his bride, the church, looks like as a, as a testimony and a witness to the world of your love for your, for your church. Father God, I thank you that... Um, marriage refines us it is not easy it is not uh, something that we just sail through lord but it's full of difficulty sometimes it's full of uh, challenges father and we thank you that you use marriage to refine us and, and just as you said iron sharpens iron we sharpen one another we rub the rest the rough edges off of each other until we each look more and more like jesus christ Father, I, I pray for uh, marriages today that are struggling. I pray, Father, that um, that your hand would be on them and that, that both the husband and the wife would turn to you in this time of difficulty and struggle, Lord. I pray that they would have uh, grace, grace-filled hearts and minds towards one another, that neither would stand in judgment of the other, Lord, but they would just uh, extend grace upon grace upon grace to each other, that the things that they've hidden from one another, whether they're feelings or actions or or sins, Lord, or, or uh, thoughts, Father, I pray that they would open up and share with one another and that you would bring healing to the relationships. I pray for those marriages that are already healthy and doing fine, Lord God. I pray that your blessing would be on them. I pray that they... Um, as they interact within their different circles of influence, that they would um, just so beautifully portray to the world a picture of Jesus and his bride, the church. Lord, we thank you so much that you've given us this gift. And Lord, we pray for uh, the marriages, marriages at KVC. We ask, Lord, that your hand would be upon them, where there's strife, you would bring peace. Uh, Lord, where there is division, there would be unity. I ask, Father God, that you would strengthen the marriages at KVC and around the world. But Lord, specifically here in Kenya, the marriages would become stronger and stronger and that it would be a true representation of you, Jesus, and your bride. We thank you that you have instituted um, marriage, that it was from your heart and from your mind that marriage came. It wasn't a man-made thing, but it was from your heart. It's a beautiful thing when two become one, when two lives, two backgrounds, two traditions come together to form a unit, a family. And so, God, we're asking today that you would bless the families, that, God, you would strengthen our families, and uh, that we would be light in dark places, that our marriages would represent you, Jesus, in every way. So we thank you for the institution of marriage, and we thank you for the couples in our church that have said yes to one another and coveted to walk this out together. Lord, we ask your blessing on marriages today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.